As he took off his mask to use the mic, it was clear Kevin Vickers wasn't happy. After three days of negotiations, the grim-faced Liberal leader explained why his party abandoned the talks. We were told, threatened, that if it had not been completed by the end of today, an election would be called. This was a negotiation of having a gun to your head. It's totally unacceptable. The stated goal of progressive conservative Premier Blaine Higgs was to avoid an election in the midst of a pandemic, to work with opposition leaders drafting policy all parties could support. But the plan also guaranteed his minority government as much as two more years in power. Even so, the other two parties seemed keen to continue. We went in there with uh, uh, an open mind and in good faith to try to move New Brunswick forward and to avoid an election. Um, but I was skeptical that that's what the Liberals were there to do. We had fascinating discussions to try and uh, see where we might get. Um, but in the end, uh, it didn't work. With the Liberals now out, it's up to Premier Blaine Higgs to call an election or maintain the status quo. Well, it's very disappointing to be standing here at this point in time. I expected to be working most of the night and the weekend. and So uh, now I'm thinking about next steps. A poll out today shows a majority of voters oppose a fall election. The narrative research survey of 1,000 New Brunswickers found just 33% want to vote, while 52% are mostly or completely opposed. The Premier remains in a ticklish position. If he calls an election, he risks angering New Brunswickers, and if he doesn't, the government still has to hold two by-elections that could loosen his minority grip on power. Higgs says he'll take the next two days to consider his options. Harry Forrestal, CBC News, Fredericton.